Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Before I answer this question, I want you guys to know this isn't the video for this week. I am working on two videos at the same time and currently one got a little bit delayed. So there will be another video going up this week on Friday. I am shooting for Friday. Today is Sea Lemon Day. I usually upload on Mondays and I named it Sea Lemon Day. And I've been thinking of changing that toward the Friday, toward the end of the week. But I want to still do something with Sea Lemon Day because I think the name is cute and I know you guys do too. You voted for it and your second choice was Friday for upload days. So the idea I have to try with it is making really quick Q&As on Mondays. Often you guys have similar questions and it would be nice to answer a lot of them in a really quick fun video to look forward to on Mondays. And honestly, these are going to be so quick that they won't interfere with the usual videos I post. They're going to be really easy to edit for me and maybe someday I'll do some live ones. Let me know what you guys think of this and if you guys don't like it, Totally cool, let me know in the comments. All right, to answer this question, uh, Judy Abbott on my kettle stitch tutorial commented, what if the signatures are already sewed each alone? Can I still attach them all together? I'm going to explain this in a really rough sketch on my iPad. So if you have sheets that are already stitched together, usually they are saddle stitched together, you can actually group those all together and press them and glue them just like you would a regular text block with a kettle stitch. When I first learned how to do bookbinding, that was actually the method I used. That was what I was taught until I later found out about different variations and I kind of did my own kettle stitch variation. But if you want to group multiple stitched pamphlets or signatures together, group them all together and glue them, it will work just the same. You will have a text block. I will put my kettle stitch variation tutorial in the description along with a video going over different ways you can press a book and also you don't have to stitch pages together to make a text block. I have a perfect binding video that I made a really long time ago. You can check that out. There are so many different ways to bind a book and it's really up to your preference. You can try some things and see if you like it and that's honestly the way that I've found what methods I like to do. So Judy, I hope that answered your question. Thank you for commenting and if you guys want me to do another Sea Lemon Day quick Q&A, leave your comments in this video or you can hashtag Sea Lemon Day on Twitter. Also a little shameless self-promotion, I still have more one year doodle challenge books. This is January. I shared it on my socials and if you want your own one year doodle challenge book, you can find that link. I will put it up here and down below and you can start this book at any time. There's no year assigned so you can start in March, you can start in the middle of February, whenever you want. And also thank you to my members, my YouTube members, my patrons. Thank you for your support, and I will see you at the end of the week with a new video. There is a bookbinding video coming up. Yeah, I will see you guys at the end of the week. Bye!